I'm Jeff Jarrett, and you're checking out DJ Dells. I'm an addict for sneakers. Sneaker Addicts! It's your boy Dells. We got the brand new Air Jordan 10. I'm back. Retro shoe. Before we get into this detailed, honest review, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Plus, hit that little bell next to where it says subscribe because if you don't, YouTube will not notify you when I upload a new video. When you hit the bell, it gives them permission. So please hit it. Bang, 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 bang. So, with that said, the shoe is inspired by the fax message. I'm pretty sure it was a fax message that Jordan sent to officially announce he's back. And the fax was literally, um, back. So looking at this colorway being majority black and white, that's what I see as far as the inspiration. It being black and white like the fax message. Let's get up close, take a look at these shoes. You've got a leather that's got a, a strange kind of tumble to it, as you can see up close. I'm really trying to capture it. It's definitely, uh, I don't know if I like it or not, to be honest with you. In some areas, it's not bad as we get toward the back. Then you've got your new buck up top right there in black. Looks nice. Then on the pull tab, you see it says, I'm back right there. Too sweet. I love it absolutely love it with your white jump man stitched in below and there's a quick look at the medial side as far as the fit to jordan tens go true to size do not go up half a size this air jordan is the worst when it comes to creasing in my opinion i mean it looks so bad once they start creasing and to avoid creasing you want the shoe to fit exactly to your feet so make sure if you buy this shoe and you've never bought the shoe before that you get the exact size. You know, try the shoe on. You can try these shoes on. People got it messed up. When you go to the store, try them on so you make sure you get the right fit. You don't want them to be big on your foot because that fold on the toe, it looks horrible. I mean, it is just terrible, these shoes. Once you get that little folding going on, the creasing by the toe, it pains me to see i mean it really pains me <laughs> i hate it make sure to thumbs up the video too before y'all forget show that love but yeah man go true to size unless you have a narrow foot go down half a size you should be good going down half a size if you have a narrow foot if you have a wide foot i still think you should go true to size that's my honest opinion and there's a quick look at the outsole as you can see you got a bunch of jordan's accomplishments listed down and I would have liked if they made the actual text black, kind of like, you know, the facts. That would have been really dope if they did that. That's just me critiquing the shoe. Bird's eye view on the toe, going up. As you can see, you got your rope laces right there. And then, of course, you have your Air Jordan 23 up top. Bird's eye view looking at that red insole with your black jump man. And there you go with a close-up HD look at this shoe. Let me know what you guys think of them. Do you like the way the colorway is? Let me know in the comment box below. Hot or not, do you think these are going to sell out? Do you think they're going to sit? Jordans have been selling out like crazy lately. They do retail for $190. They will be releasing this upcoming weekend. I will have more information in the description box below as we get closer to the release date. Plus, I will tweet information in the morning over at my Twitter, which is at DJDELZ. Go to my blog, thesneakerratic.com. I also will have tons of information to help you guys out and give you a head start on releases to help you on all the releases. So, you know, go to the blog to get help on release days of course i'm plugging the blog but the blog is for your convenience to help you guys out with scoring your kicks besides posting sneaker news and whatnot i definitely try my best in the mornings to post information on these shoes and if you're passing on these shoes what's the next pickup you're aiming to get i would love to know what do you got your eye on for the future of 2018? What is that pair of shoes that you are just counting down the days to? I want to know. So leave that in the comments below.
Don't forget we got the brand new sneaker attic tees. It's true to size. I will link that also in the description box below. Also, I definitely want to talk about this Air Jordan 9 bread. This thing flew off the shelves today, man. This thing sold like hotcakes. I was not seeing this happening, but at the same time, how did I not realize people got money this week, man? People are getting paid off of their tax refunds, so people are rich. They balling. They are spending that money, making it rain at the sneakers store, baby. I can't believe I didn't see this coming. I did the review. If you did not see the review, I will put that in the description box or pop up somewhere on the screen. It's a really dope pair of kicks, and I actually gave it a really good review. So definitely check out that video, but let me know in the comments. Did you pick up these Jordan Bread 9s, or did you pass, or did you strike out? Man, craziness. I did launch my patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. The podcast is available now. This week's brand new podcast. We talk about so much and it's definitely a must listen. I will give you a sample of the podcast right now where we discuss the whole thing that's going on with Money Kicks, the Young Dude Money Kicks and Benjamin Kicks. There may be a boxing match going on between these two Young Buck sneakerheads. So I'm going to give you a little sample of the podcast just so you can hear what you're missing if you're not a member of patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. And if you like what you hear, you got an hour more of this content. So without further ado, let me give you this little sample. And if you enjoy what you like, head over to patreon.com backslash DJ Dells and definitely become a member. You'll get a podcast every week, a one hour podcast, if not longer, every single week, one hour of extra content don't worry i'm still going to be doing reviews here but this is extra work extra content that i'm giving to the diehards the people that really love me so much they just need more they need me to feed them more content so this is for you guys you ladies out there and that will be linked in the description box below for your convenience so let me hit you with the sample bomb so this next topic I think you guys are going to enjoy and it's my opinion on this whole thing now about YouTubers boxing each other. We're seeing a lot of YouTubers going and boxing each other, boxing matches. We got that dude Adam boxing, um, I forgot what his name is, but um, he's a popular YouTuber. But getting to the sneaker culture, there's this guy, I'm sure a lot of you know, he's not even a guy, he's a kid. I think he's like 15 years old, he's super young. And he's from Dubai. Rich kid. The kid is filthy rich. His sneaker YouTube is money kick. So you already know. You better have that money. And he definitely has a lot of money. He has celebrities. He flies out. And he invites them to their house. He's got a zoo or something in his house. I've watched a bunch of his videos. I mean, they're good videos. Because he has celebrities there. Takes them to the zoo. And then brings them into his house. And he has this really awesome sneaker room. That's done really nicely. I mean, you got the money, you could get whatever you want. When you have money, you can have the dopest sneaker collection. I mean, if you think about it, it's not really a talent to buy all the rare shoes. You know, it is a talent though when you look at a sneaker collection and it's got stuff that most people don't have that may not even be worth so much money, but is a rare gem. Like if you go to my sneaker room. Yes, I do have sneakers that are worth thousands of dollars. But I also have shoes that are maybe not worth that much money. But if you see them, you're going to be like, damn, these are crazy. I never knew this came out. Like, you know, like, who has, like, the young Jeezy Adidas superstar? I don't know anyone that got that. Or who has the S. Carter Jay-Z Kanye West shoe? Yes, that's going for, I think it's going for about $4,000, that shoe. But, you know, it's not always about the price tag of a sneaker, first of all. I just want to make that clear. I'm more impressed by the selection. I like seeing different flavors, you know. It's like eating the same food every day. I mean, that's got to be boring after a while. If you just got all the freaking Yeezys, like, yay, you got all the damn Yeezys. But, I mean, show me different shit, you know. I like... 
people like DJ Greg Street. He's got an awesome sneaker collection. He'll break out all types of brands. And that's what I'm into. I mean, if you're just into Jordans or Nikes, that's cool. And I can be impressed by that also. But if you're just someone that's filthy rich and you can just buy whatever you want, I would be more impressed if you showed me all the brands and, and different type of shit. You know what I mean? But a lot of these rich young kids, they like to just floss. They like to flex. And that's what kids do. That's what 15-year-olds do. 14-year-olds. I think he's 14, 15. Now, you got him. He's got his YouTube channel real successful, which it should be, because he got, damn what, so many celebrities that he flies out to Dubai to his house. And in no shape and form am I hating on this kid at all. I think it's cool, man, what he's doing. He's creating cool content, bringing celebrities to his crib, takes them to the you know zoo and all types of stuff like that. It's fun to watch some of your favorite celebrities interacting with you know the zoo and all that not really the interaction with him i'm gonna be honest with you but the animals it's cool and then with the sneakers i feel like you could have replaced him with anyone in that environment and it would have been dope you know you could put anyone that's listening right now and fly um them to you know some amazing house with animals and you know, then bring them in and show them this amazing crib and then show them, you know, in a beautiful sneaker room. It's that this kid got a lot of money, you know, well, his family got a lot of money. But once again, I'm not hating on him, you know. I think it's awesome that he's in this situation where he's able to do this and it's a great idea what he did. So you got to give him credit. He put out a video, though, challenging another young sneaker dude, sneaker head, sneaker enthusiast. And he goes by the name of Benjamin Kicks. Used to see him all the time with DJ Khaled. I don't really see him with Khaled anymore. Maybe Khaled, you know, he really got a real nice plug with Jordan Brand now. I mean, he, damn what, he has his own shoe. So, you know, he's so plugged in. Maybe he just doesn't need Benjamin Kicks around anymore because you used to see him all the time on the Snapchat, like always. He was like one of DJ Khaled's sidekicks, you know, on the Snapchat because DJ Khaled basically got really 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 famous off of snapchat and just being himself and showing his personality of course he was a huge dj before that and you can't discredit all the amazing work he did even back in the days the mixtapes he did i still have a cd i found in my garage a mixtape with him and dj tony touch and i mean this was in probably early 2000s when i got this cd this mixtape i think i bought it over at fat beats downtown in Manhattan, which is no longer open. R.I.P. to Fat Beats. Getting back to this story, he challenged Benjamin Kicks to a boxing match. Money Kicks challenged Benjamin to a boxing match. Now, these are two young kids. How do you guys feel about this? I mean, I know there's... And there you go with a little sample. If you want more, patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. Become a member. Thanks for tuning in. Much love, we out.